Despite the January transfer window being firmly shut, the rumours of high profile moves still persist, particularly surrounding those players with just six months left to run on their current deals. For those who are unaware, when a player enters the last six months of their contract, they are free to negotiate with other clubs to arrange a pre-contract with that other club once their current contract with their current team has expired, thus allowing the player to move on a free transfer. Some of the biggest and most noteworthy transfers have occurred using the system, with the likes of Robert Lewandowski, Andrea Pirlo and Michael Balak all choosing to run down their current deals and leave on a free. With the end of the current season drawing closer and closer, there are once again a number of world-class talents who will be available for nothing this summer. Now of course things can change very quickly in the world of football, so there is a chance that some of these players could sign new deals or arrange a transfer before this video comes out, so I will say that all information is correct at the time of recording. Quick side note, we will be excluding Lionel Messi from this 11, as it's a given that he would obviously walk into any team on the planet. With that, these are our picks for an out of contract 11 this summer. Goalkeeper Gianluigi Donnarumma Despite his tender age of 21, Italian prodigy Gianluigi Donnarumma has established himself as one of the very best goalkeepers in the world. After breaking into the AC Milan first team at the age of just 16, Donnarumma has gone on to make over 200 appearances already for the Rossoneri and is, at the time of writing, one of the reasons why Milan are currently second in Serie A, chasing their first league title since 2010-11. The current number one for both club and country, the 6'5 stopper is well on his way to becoming a truly elite goalkeeper, with excellent long passing, coupled with his ability at saving close range efforts. Donnarumma has been in this situation before, as in 2017, he initially stated that he would not be renewing his contract, before eventually relenting and signing a new deal through to 2021. As he is under 23, he cannot be approached on a pre-contract, instead having to let his contract expire before being able to negotiate with any interested parties, of which there will no doubt be many. Right back, El said Husay. A fullback who can operate on either side, albeit international El said Husay, can offer one of the most valuable commodities in the modern game, versatility. Having started his career at Empoli, Husay moved to current club Napoli in 2015 for a reported 5 million euros. Since then, he has gone on to make over 200 appearances for his current employers, as well as lifting the Coppa Italia in 2019 20. An experienced international who has played at Champions League level for his club and at Euro 2016 for his country, Husay knows what it's like to play at the highest level. Despite his excellent passing and an ability to hold on to the ball, his weakness in regards to crossing the ball is noticeable. Even so, Husay is more than capable of performing at a consistent high level, and getting him in on a free transfer would be an astute piece of business. Centre back, David Alaba. Sticking with the topic of versatility, it's arguable that no one in the modern game defines that term more than Bayern Munich's David Alaba. Having been at the Bavarian Giants since 2009, Alaba has established himself as one of the standout performers in a team that has no shortage of world class talent. With his ability to play any number of positions at a consistently high level for both club and country, the Austria international is rightly regarded as one of the most in-demand talents in European football. Still only 28 years old, Alaba is arguably only entering his peak years now, which is a frightening prospect for any potential opponent. As a man who has won all there is to win in the game at club level with Bayern, Alaba has already gone on record stating that he will be leaving the club in the summer, leaving the rest of the European giants to fight it out over his coveted signature. Centre back, Sergio Ramos. As much as a polarising figure as Sergio Ramos is on the pitch, it cannot be denied that he is indeed one of the very best of his generation in his position. The current Real Madrid captain has led both his club and country through periods of success laden with silverware and personal accolades. Ramos moved to Real in the summer of 2005 from Sevilla, where he has been an ever-present ever since. A physically strong and commanding figure, combined with his aerial ability and confidence on the ball, has set Ramos apart from many of his contemporaries down the years. Not only that, but he has a keen eye for goal, having scored over 100 goals for Los Blancos and 23 for his national side. Despite all of the positives about Ramos's game, the one consistent negative that has followed him throughout his entire career has been his temperament. He is the most carded player in the league of history, with 191 cards, 20 of which have been red. All of that withstanding, as well as the fact that he will have turned 35 by the time his deal expires, Ramos will have no shortage of suitors come the summer. Left back, Juan Bernat. The last few years have been rather difficult for Juan Bernat, having been plagued by injuries which has forced him to miss 88 club games since 2015. Even now, at the time of writing, the Spaniard has missed the whole season due to a cruciate ligament rupture that he suffered back in March of last year. 
and he is on the pitch however, he is a real asset. With his ability to play key passes and his ability to keep hold of the ball being just two of his standout attributes. Bernat joined PSG in the summer of 2018 from Bayern Munich where he had won four Bundesliga titles in a row. His success has continued with the French Giants securing two more league titles and numerous domestic cup honours. Should he be able to get back to full fitness, there is no doubt that he would be a consistent starter for whomever secures his signature. Before moving into the midfield, here are a few honourable mentions who just missed out on a place in our team at the back. Centre midfield, Luka Modric. For the past decade it has been a universal truth that Luka Modric is one of the most well-rounded midfield players on the planet. With his ability to control the game, to create chances for himself and his teammates, and to pick that incisive pass, the Croatian has earned his place amongst this generation's very best. Despite being 35 years of age, he is still a key member of the Real Madrid midfield, as well as the main man in the Croatian national team, of which he is the captain. With his ability to play a number of roles in the centre of midfield, his age shouldn't be enough to perturb any potential suitors, as he is as adept at playing a 6 as he is at 10. Modric is a proven winner with four Champions Leagues, two La Liga titles and a Copa del Rey, just the tip of the iceberg in regards to his achievements and his accolades. Centre midfield, Gini Wijnaldum. Despite not being a blockbuster signing upon his arrival at Anfield in the summer of 2016, Gini Wijnaldum has more than proved his worth in the last five years. A hard-working, industrious midfielder, Wijnaldum slotted into manager Jurgen Klopp's press-heavy style almost instantly. Deployed in a deeper role at Liverpool than his previous clubs, he has been able to use his passing ability to dictate the pace of the game. With 70 caps for the Netherlands, he is also an established international and is no stranger to playing at the highest level, nor is he a stranger to success, as he can count a Champions League, an Eredivisie and a Premier League to his list of accolades. He has been heavily linked to joining up with his former national team coach Ronald Koeman at Barcelona when his deal is up, but the decision ultimately rests with the Liverpool number 5. Attacking midfield, Hakan Chalanoglu. We head back to Milan as they have yet another one of their key names with their deal upcoming at the end of the season, in the form of Turkish midfielder Hakan Çalhanoğlu. Renowned for his shooting ability from long range, Çalhanoğlu has scored his fair share of wonder goals throughout the years. There is however more to his game than that, as his crossing ability, combined with his accuracy from dead ball situations, makes him a coveted commodity in the AC Milan midfield. At the time of writing, Çalhanoğlu has 3 goals and 9 assists in all competitions so far this season, which has no doubt piqued the interest of a number of clubs around Europe. At 27 years old, Chalanoglu still has a number of years left in him at the top level and, with the right players around him, could reach the astronomical heights expected of him earlier in his career. Before we move on to the front three, let's take a look at a few names who just missed out on a place in our starting lineup in the middle of the park. Left wing, Memphis Depay. As enigmatic as he is talented, Memphis has had his fair share of detractors throughout his career. However, even the most cynical of fans cannot deny the sheer level of ability possessed by the 27-year-old Dutch international. A powerful, direct and skillful winger, Memphis has no issue playing an incisive through ball to a teammate or taking on the opposition with a combination of speed, trickery and ferocious shot power. Having left Manchester United for Lyon permanently in January 2017, Memphis has been the main man at the French club, having scored 68 goals and claiming 40 assists in 152 total appearances. If he does indeed leave for nothing this summer, not only will Lyon not receive what should have been a sizeable fee for their star man, but will be losing one of the most talented wide men in all of Europe. Right wing, Florian Tovan. It is hard to underestimate just how much one lacklustre season can cloud the judgement of the general populace. This has been the case for Marseille winger Florian Tovan, after his underwhelming season in the black and white of Newcastle in 2015. Since then he has gone on to shine back in his homeland, so much so that he was called up to the 2018 French World Cup squad which would go on to win the tournament. Known for his speed and close control, Tovan has added an ability to finish to his game, making him the prototypical modern day wide man. In 32 appearances so far this season, Tovan has contributed 9 goals and 7 assists in all competitions, with the majority of those coming off the right hand side. Given the ongoing turmoil at Marseille currently, perhaps leaving at the end of his contract wouldn't be the worst idea for Tovan. Centre forward, 
Sergio Aguero. What can be said about Sergio Aguero that hasn't already been said? Manchester City's all-time leading goal scorer is, without a doubt, one of this generation's greatest talents and one of the greatest players the Premier League has ever seen. Aguero is the complete centre forward, with an uncanny ability to find the back of the net being just one of his many qualities. His passing ability, link-up play and tactical awareness make him a capable assist maker as well as an out-and-out goal scorer. Despite being hampered by injury in the past few seasons, forcing him out of 41 club games in the past two years, that will no way tarnish his legacy at Manchester City, nor at Atletico Madrid where he made his name, or Independiente where he started his career. Now 32, he is entering the twilight of his career, but there is no doubt that any number of teams will still have a huge amount of interest in securing his signature come July 1st. Just before we go, here are a few honourable mentions who just missed out on making the front line, minus Lionel Messi of course. So that is our starting 11 of players whose contract expires this summer. What would your 11 look like? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you did enjoy this video, do remember to click that subscribe button, give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and hit the bell to be notified of when we make new videos. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you as always in the next one.